How you doing? My name is Angelique, also known as The Light. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe, stay a while if you want to. Um, this video is going to be based on the Leo woman and the Cancer man and what I think about it. I am a Leo woman. Uh, my moon is Scorpio. My rising is Cancer. Um, I have a lot of experience <laughs> with um, the sign Cancer when it comes to men and when it comes to women too, but I don't date women. And I just ended a 16 year on and off cycle with a Cancer man, unfortunately. I wouldn't say he was narcissistic, um, I would say, but he was more dark-sided because of his insecurity, okay? I will say that. Um, a lot of light-sided traits he had, but due to the insecurity and not knowing who he truly is, he showed a lot of dark-sided traits. Overall, I would give this match out of one out of 10, I would give the Leo woman and the Cancer man, I would give them like a six out of 10. I think that friendship wise, friends, just friends, platonic friends, they are great for each other. So I would give them friendship wise, I would give them a nine, all right? As friends, a nine. Um, but love, no, I give it a six. And I say this because Cancer is ruled by the moon, right? And Leo is ruled by the sun, all right? And I used to think this was so cute. Like, oh, you know, I would call my ex-lover, my ex-cancer lover, you're my moon. And he would say I was his son or he would call me fire, right? And this is very opposite, very opposite to me. And... I constantly was feeling like I had to water myself down um, in order to be around the cancer. Most cancer men really don't choose me. I'm usually, you know, too much, okay? I'm, you know, too fashionable, too outgoing, too outspoken. You know, I got told so many times by this cancer lover and other cancers in the past who were interested in me that my words were aggressive. Um, that, uh, oh, I, I appear to be a party girl, you know? So the cancer man is looking for that woman who's going to mother him. Leo is not going to mother the cancer man. She is um, a fire. She is a force not to be fucked with. <laughs> All right, she is um, a transformer, all right, where the cancer man wants to stay in his stagnation sometimes, his contentment, he wants to stay. He's, he's in the dark, he's the moon, right? He's just lounging for that night. You know, cancer men will, they're very stuck in their ways and Leo is forever She's forever changing, okay? She's forever changing. Her friends are changing. Her style is changing. Um, her career can change. She's forever changing. She always changes her hair. You know, we're always changing. Leo women are like always evolving. Where I feel cancer, um, not that they can't be successful. You know, there's a lot of cancers who are very successful and can manifest money very fast um but they are going to do things the way they want to where leo is leo woman is like hey babe let's go out and cancer is like no we can just order in and leo is like but i want to go outside i want to play leo we're, we're we're fun we're playful but cancer is like now nah, stay in the crib and you know smoke my weed or drink my beer drink my liquor and i'll be here you know so um that's why i think this match is very difficult 
Um, you know, Cancer doesn't understand, the Cancer man doesn't understand why Leo wants to go on trips and spend unnecessary money to them, which is funny because the Cancer man will spend money on things that he likes, but to spend money on other people and things, it's like he likes to control it, okay? Even the rich, even the rich Cancer men, <laughs> They're going to give you money, but they're going to be controlling of what they give you and how much they give you and, you know, giving you that talk of like, okay, what are you using this for? Or if a cancer man does have money, it'll be like, okay, I'll pay your rent. I'll pay the mortgage, but that's it. You know, they might not buy the lavish gifts, you know, so they could be controlling and, you know, nitpicky when it comes to money. I have a... a male cancer friends <laughs> where me when a friend asks me for money i'm just gonna give it to them you know because i don't like to loan money out i would rather give it to them um if i have it but um uh, my cancer male friend is the only male friend that if i ask to borrow money he really expects that <laughs> he really expects me to give him his money back like yeah like, it doesn't matter if it's just twenty dollars or like i can ask a taurus i can say hey taurus you know can i um look can i borrow a hundred dollars and taurus will send me two hundred dollars cancer you say can i borrow twenty dollars it would give you exactly twenty dollars or 19.99 you know so leo doesn't doesn't like that especially if this is going to be a dark-sided cancer man that the Leo woman is dating, she's going to feel so starved. She's so hungry in this, this relationship, you know? Um, so with my experience recently, I let go a 16 year cycle because of like the mental connection and the conversation that the Leo and the cancer definitely has this. The conversation is the bomb. Okay. It's, it's great. You know, they can go deep. The Leo can go deep spiritually and mentally, emotionally. And, you know, the cancer can kind of take you down a rabbit hole too. But at the same time, that's it. You know, they're, there's, there's very different people. And if a cancer man is in his insecure stage, everything that the Leo says is going to feel like She's, you know, trying to hurt him. You know, I, I'm, you know, Leo, we're fire, you know, just like the Aries, we punch with our words, you know, like we'll be like, you know, what up, punk? Hey, you doing big head? Cancer cannot, they do not like this, you know? So I don't mind if my lover says, hey, big head, or hey, big nose, or you know, just like a nickname or just a pet name or something. Nothing disrespectful, like calling me a bitch or something like that. You know, I don't mind it. You know, it's just all fun and games to me. But, oh my gosh, I would say, you know, like, man, whatever, punk, to the cancer. And it's just like, don't call me that. Don't call me that. And I'm just like, whoa, whoa, what the hell is going on? So it, they're very different people. <laughs> I, you know, you feel like you have to kind of, as a Leo, you have to be on like pins and needles with the cancer man. Like any little thing can trigger and they hold on to words. And, you know, cancers, it's like everything is memory to them. They like replay everything. So you do something to them, it's like more intense for them. So it's like, it's overwhelming. <laughs> It, it, it's really overwhelming, you know. Um, another thing is communication. Leo is direct. Listen, I don't like what you did. This is what you did. You need to do this. Da, 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 da. Like, that's how Leo woman is. Leo woman is going to let you know where you're effing up at. She's going to let you know, I don't like this in the bedroom. I don't like when you wear this. I don't like when you say this to me or treat me this way. You're not doing this. And she gives you time to fix it. But if you keep doing it, as cancer will do it, they'll be, they'll be very stubborn. It's almost like, don't tell me how to love you. Don't tell me what to do. Matter of fact, now that you told me um, how to love you, what to do, I'm going to make you wait and suffer longer. So it's a lot of 
pettiness between the Leo woman and the Cancer man. And Cancer, you know, he could feel something about you and he's not going to tell you where we're going to tell him. And, you know, you think y'all cool, but nah, he's, he's planning your murder. And you thinking y'all good, but no, the communication, like you have to literally pull that out of the Cancer man. And then as soon as you ask them something, it's like, yeah, well, and I'm like, whoa, what the hell? You've been feeling this all these years or all these months. You didn't say nothing. So they're very petty like that. And as soon as you're going to them to address something that they made you feel some kind of way, then they'll tell you five things that they didn't tell you six months ago because they were too punk to tell you. So that is such a huge clash um, that I, I just... I just don't like about the cancer man um, in the bedroom. I think that they're a good match in the bedroom because, you know, Leo is going to bring more of that aggression. The Leo woman, she has plenty of stamina and cancer does too. They, they, they praise, they surprise you. You know, you might think he's quiet or nerdy, you know, different, awkward or whatever, or you may think he's even lame or he's a cornball, but no, they really master the bedroom because I feel like they have feminine and masculine energy where they can kind of slow things down a little bit in the bedroom where Leo is going to like pounce on her cancer, like, yeah, get over here. But cancer, like, is like the king of foreplay you know they're like slow down leo calm down baby like let's take our time with this and leo slows down a bit you know we know she's fire and she's ready to you know rip him apart but he like takes time with leo and leo likes that too because the leo woman we we want to be pampered we want to feel like a goddess so it's like ooh. He wants to give me a massage. He wants to touch my whole body. He wants to, you know, slow things down. He wants to, you know, bless my yoni. He wants to, you know, go down and kiss her. Sure, great. Like he just slows things down for the Leo woman. So I would give the bedroom like a nine or a 10. I'm gonna be real with you. That has been my experience. But outside the bedroom, it's a clash so cancer man can be very manipulating very manipulative um and they do a lot of behind the scenes type of manipulation tactics um they can even be jealous especially if the leo woman she's always creating right so i found that you know i was always creating and doing things um, and I had told my cancer lover, my ex cancer lover, um, you know, about my body products. And when I showed it to him, he, he didn't say like, congratulations, or, you know, I want to buy your product or anything. He was like, oh, why did you put your sticker on the top of the jar? You should have put it on the side of the jar, you know? So when they don't know who they are, cancer man could be the biggest bitch, okay? You're gonna be feeling like you have a woman competing with you. They're not gonna be supportive. Um, they're gonna be hating. Um, they're gonna be watching your social media. Um, you know, if he's low vibrational, if he is dark-sided, if he's a narcissist, it's gonna be rough. It's, it's definitely gonna be rough because they will he's literally gonna try to douse your fire out all right he doesn't he doesn't like that you know leo it's weird it's like he thinks you're so fine but it's like the insecurity is like damn all these men is looking at my woman i'm gonna have to fight like they think like this it's like what are you talking about like we just having a drink at the bar but that's what they're thinking like damn like the most when they're insecure, it's like the more beautiful she is, they're thinking like other men are going to want my woman and I can't stand a chance. I'm going to have to always fight for her. So you will find like cancer men who 
are insecure, they'll pick the unattractive girl on purpose because it's like nobody want her but me. I know it, it sounds crazy, but they'll do this. So Leo woman is it could be very fiery where they will choose maybe an earth sign versus a fire sign. They'll sleep with the Leo woman, you know, they'll play with her for years like mine did. You know, um, I love you, I don't love you, I love you, I don't love you because the truth is they can't handle the fire sign women a lot of times and I did get my answer from him. He admitted it to me. He admitted I was too much, <laughs> too much for him. Um, and it's easier to be with a more unattractive woman so to say because a leo woman she comes with an audience you know her look and her fire her light especially if she's a light-sided leo forget about it everyone's looking at the leo woman you know they naturally have that that draw that spiritual pull so i think that this i must i'm not gonna say it can't work. I think any any signs can work. But to me, this is weak. They're just so opposite. Great as friends can conversate. But as soon as you mix love in it, it's difficult. But if you're a Leo woman and you have a cancer man and y'all making it work, please tell your testimony in the comment section because I just had to end a 16-year cycle with a cancer. And when I think about it, I'm going to miss the friendship. It's not even the love portion. I think horrible as a lover, horrible. Yeah, the sex was amazing, but just horrible. Like, you can't be serious. <laughs> you know, having to tell, like, tell him basic ways to treat me. It was, it was insane. It's insane. Like, it was terrible in that area. But we actually were friends for like, seven or eight years before we crossed the line into anything romantic and i wish i can take it back i'm gonna be real with you i wish that i would just go back to us being best friends because i think that we would be in each other's lives to the rest of our life basically you know um but this is a weak match i give it a six i give the sex a nine but i give the love a six Whew. The sun and the moon, I, I just, a horrible match. <laughs> I don't think it's a good match. But Leo, Lioness, let me know. Do you like the cancer man in the bedroom um, or outside the bedroom? Um, I think that the only way for this to work is like the Leo kind of has to douse her fire. And I'm not willing to do that, you know, and he's more of that homebody stuck in his ways type of man where Leo is more extrovert. All right. This is definitely he's more of an introvert type, you know. But yes, good luck to your match, you know, your lover, your cancel man lover. I am done. I closed the cycle. You know, um, he even made the decision that he wanted to let go too, and he's tired of the cycle too. So yeah, I doubt we would ever see each other or link back up again in life. I don't think so. But God bless and good luck with your Leo woman or your Leo or your cancer man. Take care.